For our series on mimics, let's look at a couple of patients who both have disease in their dural venous sinuses. This is patient number one. This is just a flare sequence, but there's something wrong back here. There's abnormal increased signal right along the transverse sinus. Let's double check that on T1 weighted sequences. I love looking at T1 weighted sequences for flow void in the transverse sinuses. It's perpendicular to the plane of imaging. It's really sensitive for flow void. And there is a lack of flow void in that transverse sinus, right where we're seeing the abnormal flare signal. You know, we got the patient on the table. Let's get an MRV. Uh-oh. There's absolutely no discernible flow in that left transverse sinus. This looks like a dural venous thrombosis. Let's compare this with patient number two. Very similar look on the flare sequence. There's abnormal signal here in the transverse sinus. We pull up the T1, which is really great for this purpose, and we see that little triangle that should have flow void in it. That transverse sinus does not show flow void. Okay, let's, let's, let's do an MRV in this patient. There is no flow in that transverse sinus. You see it down on the right side, but the left transverse sinus has no discernible flow. We have two patients with identical findings. But when we look at patient number one with a CT, we see that there actually is perfectly good flow, perfectly good contrast in this transverse sinus, just like its counterpart, maybe a little smaller, but there is flow there. Oh, look, there's an arachnoid granulation causing partial narrowing of the sigmoid sinus here. That's why there is such slow flow in this transverse sinus, too flow to be detected on MR venography. Well, that explains it. This patient isn't thrombosed, just a little narrowed. Now let's look at patient number two. Maybe she'll be okay too. Ah, on this CT, unenhanced CT, there is increased density along the transverse sinus. That's acute thrombus. The venography, conventional venography, shows flow down the superior sagittal sinus and into the right transverse sinus. Absolutely no flow into the left transverse sinus. This is acute clot. These two patients looked identical on MRI. They had the same abnormality on flare, they had the same lack of flow void on T1, and they had the same lack of flow on MR venography. But one of them had slow flow in a patent sinus, and the other one had an acute dural venous sinus thrombosis. This is the problem with MRI. MRI can't tell the difference between slow flow and acute thrombus, and this is why CT venography is better in this diagnosis.